All right, this is the false grip for the ring muscle up. So you're gonna put your hand through the ring. So you're resting the ring on your wrist. And then you're gonna grab hold. So you got the whole of your hand through the side of the ring. From there, you'll have that false grip on. The reason we use a false grip is when we come for that transition, it's gonna make that turnover much easier than if you have this loose grip here. It's gonna make that transition really difficult as you come up on the rings. That transition through is gonna be really hard to do. That's why we have that false grip. All right, so this is the setup for the low ring transition. You're gonna set the rings so they're about chest tight, and then you're gonna stand right under the ring so your feet are in line with the upright of the rig. Set that force grip, make sure it's nice and tight. Feet is going to go straight underneath him, and then all he's going to do is get himself in that bottom position. Worst, what he's ever done, pretty much. Lean back so his chest is nice and upright. When he pulls, he's trying to get his knuckles as close as he can together. He's going to sit through into the bottom of his dip. Nice and easy. And then if he wants to start adding a bit more speed, once you get the little position with it, when you do add speed, make sure you're still getting the knuckles to your chest so you're not just pulling straight into that wide position. The next thing that you can do to start working on that stability, rather than going straight from the low rings onto the high rings for the first time ever, I'm going to land in the bottom of that dip, but he's going to take his feet away and he's going to test his own stability. So then when he does do it on the high rings, if he does fall through, he can obviously just put his feet down on the ground and it's not the first time ever he's not going to fall through the rings, just tear his shoulder. Um, the next thing that you can do is if he wants to, he can add in that transition again, take his feet away and now add in the dip as well, just for an extra ring strength. Cool. So one drill we've got to work on the strength of that false grip is a false grip hang. So you're going to need two lacrosse balls. What you're going to do is get the lacrosse ball around one side of the bar and your wrist on top of the bar and you're going to pull the ball into the bar and from there you're going to hang. Alright, so one drill we've got to work on the strength of the pull for your muscle up is a false grip strict ring pull up. So Milo's going to jump up, he's going to make sure he gets his false grip on the rings and then he's going to pull himself as high as he can, getting the rings as low down the chest as possible, so towards the stern. It's really important that you maintain that false grip and you get that low pull. Easy. 